it's Rob again from Kickback Garage. Now today is a bit of a traditional day for us here in Norway. Um, the day that the clocks go back or forward, which way did they go this time? They went backwards, we got an, uh, an hour extra. And uh, the day the clocks go back or forward is the day that the season starts or ends officially. And what makes this really special is the fact that this might be the last year we actually physically put the clocks backwards or forwards. So what we're going to do is uh, jump on the scooters. The weather is absolutely atrocious. Well, it's stopped raining now for the moment, but it's about four or five degrees and uh, it's the rain is sporadic. So um, I'm going to have to put on the old uh, waterproofs and we're going to go down to a friend in town. I'm not sure how many guys are going to turn up uh, because of the weather, obviously. Normally there's a better turnout in the, in the spring, but I want to show you and have a look. And we're going to look at the scooters, see what's happening there. And we're going to consume some waffles. If you fancy coming along for a ride, then uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee. My son was super duper adamant that he was going to join me for today's soiree, but uh, as you might be able to see, I'm uh, all on my lonesome, Billy no mates, but I, I really do understand why he, uh, why he didn't want to come on then. My, I, my hands are absolutely freezing, I've only ridden about 10 kilometers, I can't feel a thing, so yeah. Oh, no rest for the wicked. One nice thing about that though is uh, he, uh, it means that I can have uh, more waffles. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, I can't even get my gloves on. My hands are a little bit wet and they're sticking on the inside of the gloves. It's round about three and a half, four degrees raining so it's sort of just before it's going to start to snow and oh boy it's a wet one oh he was bigger than me where's he going he's let me out thank you very much mr bus oh boy Riding around in my automobile, not quite. Right, so problem I'm having now is as soon as, as soon as I put my visor down, it starts uh, steaming up on the inside. So I can't see a damn shit because of the temperature difference in and outside the helmet. I can't really see much, tell you the truth. And I bet you can't see much either. So it's going to be such a brilliant video. Mm, what's happening here? Bit of road works. Oh, fancy the old water splash. Oh, my, my fingers are cold, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Should have the old heated grips, eh? Now, you might feel a bit sorry for us over here in Norway because we uh, we have quite short seasons, but I don't know. I don't mind it, to tell you the truth. What it means to me is that I can. Oh, something something strange happening with the engine there. Have I got water in the car? I'm, I'm running an open car, which is not ideal. Uh, 
we're all right, we're all right. I can coax it to uh, try and scoot this far. I cannot see a thing. I'm going too slow for the water to to roll off my visor. And I got loads and loads of uh, condensation on the inside. But that, the rain is so icy cold that if I lift up my visor only a little bit, it uh, is sort of horrible, horrible conditions. What I was going to say was, you might feel sorry for us because we've got quite a short season. Uh, basically for me, I ride it as long as I can, but as soon as they come out with the uh, salt on the roads, then um, then I call it a day. I don't want I don't want them to because that salt is uh, really nasty stuff, and doesn't matter what you do with them. I did ride a bike uh, a bit too early a few years ago before the salt had cleared off the roads. Um, it was just a matter of days and it was, looked like a rusty heap of shit and it was actually quite a new bike. So all the chrome and everything all all disintegrated and turned this lovely sludgy orange colour. Looks pretty though, doesn't it? With uh, Even in the... Even in the poor weather, if you can see it, uh, you got those clouds lifting up off the mountains there. Eh? I can't hardly see a thing. I think I've said that before. And the reason why I find it alright that the seasons are are a little short is because then I, I've got loads of time I can uh, take the engines apart uh, check bearings and stuff like that like I'm going to do on this one she really needs new cables and uh, wires and stuff so I'll be uh, sorting all that out in my own good time and it doesn't matter if I order stuff and it takes forever for things to turn up because I've got plenty of time. We, we kick off the season in March, but it doesn't really start until mid-April, depending on the weather. Sometimes, sometimes we're lucky and get spring really early. But we do get quite a bit of snow even though we're down south. Hey! Shit, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. It looks like the boys are raring to go, so we're gonna go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, careful, careful. <laughs> right, we've reached our destination. Right, I made it back. Oh, she did me proud. 
Uh, it, it started raining so badly on the way back there that I don't imagine any of the footage uh, will be usable. But hey, I got my 2019 Cochrane uh, sticker, which is very important. And even got a new uh, club sticker, which uh, I think will go on there nicely. Yeah. So if you uh, if you like this film, give me a big thumbs up, do the old subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra! Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. All sprung in lag and will come under talk. No one of us may have to have the 40 frog for what to do or draw. Can we phone? Can we send them come? The house and took over, so we are the brother last summer. Welcome back to Gig by Garage. Rob here. I don't never see that. Or forward. Which way did they go this time? They went backwards. We got an, uh, an hour extra. So you don't get, um, yeah, 